I remember a time not so long ago where I was deeply, deeply ashamed of my Asianness. I, I saw it as a hindrance rather than something to be proud of. And, and something like cultural pride seems so foreign to me just because I spent so much of my life trying to be white. And I feel like so many of us did because we just wanted to assimilate away all of the things that made us different and just kind of blend in, keep our head down. Uh, whereas now, I hope, um, you know, Asian kids growing up today can be proud to just be who they are and embrace the wonderful culture that, that they're a part of and that their parents were a part of, you know. Our story is so unique because we are immigrants. We, our parents came from a land far, far away and oftentimes with nothing on their backs, nothing in their pockets, just hopes and dreams of a better life. And they took that, they took basically nothing and they created a life for us. And um, I just think that for us to then turn our backs to that culture, to that heritage and to that story is, um, it, it, it's unacceptable, you know? And we have to find that pride within ourselves to say, I embrace the culture that I grew up in. And yes, it wasn't perfect. And yes, it's hard growing up in a new society and it's hard to, you know, sometimes explain things to our parents. It's hard for these two generations to kind of try to find a middle ground, but it is a story that is worth telling and we, we need to be proud of that. I'm excited to continue this dialogue of what it means to be Asian Canadian, Asian American, with the hyphen, right? Um, it, it's so strange and it, it sounds so obvious once you say it out loud, but we're not the same as people who grew up in Asia. And it's something that Hollywood, you know, in, in particular has had such a difficult time wrapping their heads around. You know, why does a movie like Crazy Rich Asians make $250 million in the North American box office, but then when you take that movie full of Asian people to China, why does it bomb? Because the Chinese audience and the Canadian and the Asian audience here want completely different things. People over there have no idea the representational struggles that we've had, the struggles with identity. They just grew up in China with Chinese people or in Vietnam, Vietnamese people. Korea, like they, they consumed their own culture, they felt represented, and there was no kind of complex that arose because of it. For us, though, there's all there's a like a, a, a treasure trove of, of conflict, of these new feelings, of these struggles with identity and, and how to how to carry oneself. Um, and I just think that I just think that as the, at, in future generations, hopefully, we will build, we will carve out a culture that is uniquely our own instead of having to blend into somebody else's or adopt somebody else's, it, it becomes just us.